All right, so let's come back to the talk and uh, yeah. So I'm sorry I've been a little up and down last two three days. I haven't been able to reply to a lot of emails that you've been sending me or messages and things like that. Just in between a few things, so I really am sorry for not replying genuinely. Um, you know, sometimes you make mistakes and then. You probably sometimes don't get chance to work on them so yeah so let's start with the remedies for today boric matira medica series um let's let's go ahead so the remedy i'm going to talk to is guaco this remedy i've used a few times i had a very interesting case of uh, uh, motor neuron disease which improved with guaco the main symptom is is this related to the pathology, it's totally pathological symptoms. So a lot of heaviness in all the limbs all over the body, spinal pathology, um, bulbar paralysis. So it's a totally neurological form of remedy, but typically for alcohol drinkers and diarrhea with pain in the sacrum and loins also. A paralysis of lower extremities, also remember cannabis in this kind of pathology. Pain around the joints, deltoid, so there is generalized pain. But especially pain along the spine towards bending is something that you will see. Very nice, total heaviness, like gelsemia actually. Um, a lot of burning in the discharges, leucoria. A urine also, there can be a pain around the bladder. And uh, tongue can be heavy, difficult to, to kind of remove it. Comes very close to lathyrus, but lathyrus I told you is natrum muriatica state of mind. Uh, also oxalic acid, also very interesting with the state of mind of diversion. Posticum has a typical state of mind. Next remedy I want to tell you today is the remedy. Okay, Gymnoclodus. I think this is a lesser used remedy. American coffee tree. Um, what have I used it for? So it's a very important remedy for urticaria and headaches. And what is the peculiarity? Typical, typical keynote of this remedy is a bluish white coating of the tongue. The tongue is the individual symptom here. Um, also very important remedy for urticaria or skin patches on the face, erysipelas, great sensitivity of throat and especially for throat infection where sore throat, lot of mucus, sticking, tickling, dry cough, a little bit like hip uh, So desire for heat and quiet, so very chilly also. So this is about, and burning is the genius of this remedy, so very interesting, gymnoclodus. Hmm. Let's go ahead if I can talk about one more remedy. Hemotoxylin. I, I, I haven't used this remedy. I saw this remedy being used in, in Dr. Sarkar's clinic in Kolkata. The main sensation he used to tell me, patient with cardiac problems say as if there is some kind of bar lying on the chest. Kuch to hai. And constant tightness of the chest. Little bit like cactus. He said this is the main uh, sensation of uh, hematoxylin. Constriction extending to epigastrium with a sensation of bar. Uh, this you will see in almost all the cases and weakness during menstrual period this is what you will also see a lot of gases all over the abdomen and uh, constriction so it has cactus like peculiarities when 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 cactus fails you have to think about this remedy hematoxylon okay let's go to the next remedy um let's see gueria tricolis or ball wood um, I haven't used this remedy also, but it's a very important remedy for pterygium and chemosis, especially for eye pathology. So uh, maybe I'm going to use it very soon. Conjunctiva are inflamed, swollen, tearing pain in the eyeballs, epiphoria, a clinical symptom, and eye symptoms with diminished hearing. So this is more or less about goeria. And let's come to one of the very important remedies in today's times the remedy guacum i don't think we are using this remedy enough but i've used it um fairly well with with good results actually i had an interesting case of um ankylosing spondylitis which was not improving um i had given many remedies he had symptoms like rustox actually, but not improving. 
So when I studied the case in detail, I found very peculiar symptoms. One of the peculiar symptoms was that everything was better by stretching. In order to stretch a lot, offensive odor all over the body. The entire body was totally contracted, stiff, immobile, and uh, aggravated by heat. So hot patient, arthritic diathesis. There was a history of uh, tonsillitis in that in that remedy. So when I studied it, um, there was a lot of feeling of heat in the joints. Painful, slightest touch would aggravate, almost giving me an idea of belladonna. But more chronicity. It was more of a subacute pathology. Uh, joints would be painful, contractions of joint, which would be better by pressure, and aggravated by motion and touch and 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. That's night aggravation. And that's when I gave Huacum. And it's almost been a year now and the patient is totally cured. Also gouty pains in the neck. Uh, pain often ends in a stitch in the head. Um, head symptoms is more chilly. Especially uh, pimples around the eyes. Huh? But especially rheumatic sore throat, acute tonsillitis. Throat is burning. History of acute tonsillitis, so that's why streptococcin and guacam both have history of tonsillitis then rheumatism. A desire for apples like antimony tart. Remember antimony tart also very important remedy for joint problems. Aversion to milk. Tongue is furred like antimony tart. A lot of flatulence in this remedy. Um, constant desire to pass urine. Also has a very important dry suffocated sensation chest, pleuritic stitches and pain in the articulation of ribs, so postochondritis. Hmm, very important for ovarian problems in rheumatic patients. Think about this. Aching in the nape, nape pain, nape of the neck is painful. So all four for cervical spondylitis, you can think about this remedy very, very nicely. So this is more or less about um, what I want to talk. It comes very close to Rustox and Causticum. So I hope you're watching my videos and I hope you, you watch the entire Boric series and write to me how it's going and everyone who watches the entire Boric series and writes to me sends me the entire notes of it I will send your ebook as a gift okay